With the weather so nice, a lot of people are spending a lot of time outdoors. And while that sun might feel good, you still need to keep in mind the amount of exposure you're getting. If you don't think that that applies to you, you're wrong. It applies to everyone. Dermatologist Noelle Sherber with CRM Dermatology joins us this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. All right, so skin cancer can affect everyone. It's it not can. just a certain group and probably something we all need to keep in mind. Absolutely. When we talk about skin cancer, there are three main types. Basal cell cancer is the most common cancer in humans. It tends to relate to sun exposure. Okay. Squamous cell cancer, also sun exposure related. And then there's melanoma. And that's the one that really can spread throughout the body and do damage. So we're most concerned about detecting that early. A lot of minorities, though, think, you know, my mm -hmm. skin is darker. I'm protected mm -hmm. from the sun. I don't have to do as much as a fair-skinned person. Mm -hmm. But that's not true. My favorite example about this is Bob Marley. So at age 36, he died from metastatic melanoma that started under his toenail mm -hmm. and spread throughout his body to his brain. So the reason I like to use him as an example is he had very deep skin tone. And under the toenail is not somewhere people typically think about looking for skin cancer. No. But although it only makes up about 10% of total melanomas, in people of African descent, Latin descent, Native American descent, Asian descent, the most common place to get melanoma is going to be on the sole of your foot or the palm of your hand or under a fingernail. And, but, 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 but that's not necessarily related to the sun exposure, or does that play a part in it as well? There probably is a very strong genetic component okay. because mm -hmm. under the toenail is not an area you really think of. <laughs> yeah, for... not lathering up there. Exactly. Okay. Although I just say to people, if you're at the beach and you're lying down on your stomach, do put some on the bottom of your feet, a little okay. sunscreen, because otherwise those can get burned. But the most important thing is to detect these early. And the reason that these type of melanomas have such a poor prognosis mm -hmm. is often people will say, ah, it's nothing. And right. so if you have a stripe under one of your nails, and sometimes people with deep, deeper skin can have a bunch of these. If you have a bunch, okay. it's probably fine. Okay. If you have one that doesn't look like the others, or only one, and especially if it extends onto the skin at the base of the nail, if there's pigment on that skin right at the base of your nail and then going through the nail, absolutely should get that checked. And if you have any spots on your hands or feet, that are darker than the others or the only one, mm -hmm. also you should get those checked. And you should go and get your skin checked and that'll be mm -hmm. one of the things you look for, but what else does it involve? A skin exam? Mm -hmm. We usually start the scalp and head all the way down to okay. the toes. And certainly skin cancer can hide in the scalp. Men with darker skin who might have a little less coverage okay. on top uh -huh. can get sun exposure there and skin cancer. So we look at everything and people usually are surprised that I say, do you have any dark spots under your nail polish if they're okay. wearing nail polish? And you should check. Don't just lean back in the pedicure chair. Look down and make sure nothing new is going on. So is the bottom line that everyone should wear some type of sunscreen when, when, when you go out? Is that just a, a safer bet? I think if you don't have the type of skin that sunburns, then daily sunscreen, even if I say you should really do it, probably is not going to seem like right. something you want to do. If you're going to be out in the middle of the day in the sun, for instance, this weekend looking at the big ships, mm -hmm. I do recommend right. that people wear sunscreen. Just find a formula that's sheer enough that you don't feel like it makes your skin tone look ashy because that's okay. usually the deal breaker. Right. People say it makes me look like a vampire from Twilight. <laughs> I don't want to wear it. So just find a formula that's really sheer. All right. Uh, thank you so much. That's good advice because a lot of people are going to be out there this weekend. Thank you.